Well, good morning, our beloveds. How does today find you all? We want to point out how a mere 24 hours, or maybe only 12 hours or two hours, can shift or change your perspective. So please remember that the feelings or emotions that you're feeling at any given time are not you. And all you need to do is remember a time very recently where you felt differently, where you felt hopefully higher, more peaceful, but it can also be lower or more dense. When you ebb and you flow, you allow the voices of humanity to impact you and to affect your thought process and your meandering of what is possible and why these things occur as they do. If you truly do believe that everything happens for a purpose versus random coincidences, you will then appreciate the nuance of your life and its experiences. It's not just about you. Sometimes you have exchanges with others because the other person needs to experience that conversation, that argument, that disagreement, or that love language. It doesn't matter. Sometimes we implant into you a desire to call somebody because the other person needs to hear from you because they are struggling. So while you think, oh, I called Johnny and he was really in a distressed state. What a good thing that I called. Maybe, maybe you can say that there is some intuitive part within you that recognizes when others are struggling and you are a tool of the universe to help to support that person in their growth journey, regardless of what that looks like. Let go of the fact that conflict is uncomfortable. It is, but sometimes it is important to redirect your life or someone else's life or both of your lives onto a different timeline or track. We are doing our best on our end to convert energy into thought and form into your body. But if you could just acknowledge that this co-creation is really real and to surrender a little bit more, which means that when you have an intuitive hit, that thought, that knowing, that curiosity, run with it. Because when we give you a thought or an idea and you don't run with it, then we need to find an alternate means to meet our objectives of creating the most humanity-oriented human species where you all really truly do acknowledge, recognize, and act upon the fact that you are all one. When one of you hurts, all of you hurts. And it's not necessarily the H-U-R-T-S. It might be the H-E-R-T-Z. When one of you hurts, the other hurts. Does that make sense? And then you could also say, hurts people, hurts people. The more you act out of a vibration of trust and understanding, that all is well at all times, you will behave and or engage in life differently. Believe, trust, open up your inner knowing so that when you have an impulsive hit to do something kind, something loving, and sometimes even to say, those words that that other person really needs to hear in order to experience a wake-up call. It need not be harsh, but it sometimes does need to be firm to allow the other person to recognize 
that they are the one causing themselves pain in this lifetime because of the choices that they make. Support people, love people, but please don't enable them. It doesn't help you, it doesn't help them, and it doesn't help the collective. It is your journey to find the most centered and concrete version of you that knows who they are and to impact the world with your authenticity and your desirability to be around. People who want to find the authentic path often seek the most authentic person because they know that you won't lie to them. You will be honest, upfront, direct, and maybe a bit compassionate even in how you offer that information. Authenticity does not mean being rude. Authenticity means just the most complete expression of who you are. And when you find that within yourself, you will actually find the most loving way of sharing what it is that you have to share within the construct of who you are in that moment. And next week, you will be a different version. So again, trust that all is well, that those intuitive knowings are us dropping something into your belly for you to consider and mull over and maybe act upon, and then just see how the feedback looks from those around you when you trust those impulses. More often than not, it will give you a positive response. And where it's not a positive response, maybe it is to plant a seed of growth within that other individual because they are stuck and you offered them insight. You need not change anybody. That is not your role nor your function. Your role is to be authentically you. And the authenticity is found in following those impulses that feel ever so right in that moment, believing that it's going to lead you to somewhere where you desire to go and maybe to create or carve a path for others who aren't there yet. This is our PSA for today. May it find you in a happy and good spot. And so it is. Namaste.